What's up, mofos? Welcome back to my New York City YouTube channel. You hear all this noise outside? <laughs> you hear this? A mess. So today is going to be my first reaction video. Um, I'll figure out how to edit it later, but this is going to be my first time watching this video. So I had a YouTube channel before this one, like years ago. And one day i was like let me go through this channel so i went to the channel and i started watching my videos back and they were cringy to me i was like uh i don't feel the same way i felt when i was making those videos so i feel like it wasn't me anymore right so i'm on my computer on my hard drive and i see this video that says who is kim fowler because after that i deleted that channel and i took all the videos off i downloaded them before i deleted the channel so i put it on my computer my hard drive so I see this video that says, who is Kim Fowler? And I'm like, oh my God, I want to react to watching this video and see if I'm still this Kim Fowler. I'm probably not, but. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm a little nervous to watch this video. But my mom was mad crazy. She used to save all these shits. I have legit posters. Really, Children's Place? Y'all selling me for $18? I was busting it on a handstand at a young age, baby. What's up, Did I really just say I was busting it on a handstand at a young age? <laughs> you know what? I'm still her. I'm still her, but not not buzzing it. But oh my god, I have this picture from when me and my best friend used to hang out in the house, and I climbed, you know, in the projects or whatever the walls. They they like so close together sometimes. Some of the walls, like the hallways, that we used to climb up the walls or whatever. And I have this picture that is so crazy. If I was to describe who I was growing up, it would be a quiet girl that turned into this picture right because i was upside down and then my best friend was at the bottom and it was a perfect display of our friendship because she was like chill and i was like mad crazy talking for us what's up mo figgities what's up mofo today is a special edition video it's all about kimmy i'm about to show y'all some embarrassing shit if you knew more about me my stand-up would probably make way more sense if you knew more about me, my stand-up would make way more sense. I don't know if it that same way because, like, my stand-up is supposed to make you get to know me, right? <laughs> but it does make sense, though. It does. She do make sense. What am I talking about? And everything wouldn't seem like I'm coming out of left field. I started doing comedy September 2012. I've been in the entertainment industry for an extremely a long time i mean i used to model model like for the children's place the gap and books i was on like child books like one was called too tall paul too small paul you know what let me show you i forgot what this is called but i used to be with this agency called generation look i think that book is called i still don't remember what the book is called but i have it in my room <laughs> like listen listen my hair let me tell you something about hair right people make a big deal of it but my kinky hair as a kid made me a whole lot of money okay so don't you ever my little brown skin girls don't you ever feel ashamed of that kinky coily hair you got my hair made me more a lot of money i was like the probably only girl on set majority of the time with that hair right now i'm so glad that it's expanded and boom natural hair is like everywhere like there's something for everyone now but back then when i was modeling i definitely felt the heat of like mm, i'm the only girl that look like this here but i end I, it ended up making me love it that's crazy that's why i don't really care that much about hair i'm like my hair made me money did your hair make you money look at one of my comp cards jesus they was making fun of my little look at my little twisty it was crazy because like I was definitely like the only black girl on most of those things. You see these 
little nickety naps that I had. I was on their little gift card. You see? Did I say nickety naps? I did. I did. Give me right there. Appeared that I was gonna be tall, but I wasn't tall, so I couldn't. I thought I was gonna be tall. I had long legs and I was really slim going up, growing up. We thought I was gonna be tall. My family thought I was gonna be tall too, but then I ended up being short and I'm like, what am I gonna do now? And then I was like, stand up comedy because I can't be a supermodel. You couldn't be no supermodel. You couldn't be no supermodel. I had to be a little short, shit. At 16, I just stopped growing. Like, I just stopped growing. Literally, one of them little white girls did voodoo on me at one of them photo shoots because I just stopped growing at 16 and I started acting and it was fun, but I was horrible in auditions. I am just a bad auditioner. So I was not a horrible auditioner. I just felt like I didn't have the confidence that I have now. Now I don't really care if you pick me or not. You know what I'm saying? Back then, back then, like, I don't know, it just wasn't as progressive as it is now. So it did feel like mad pressure to book gigs. But it's so funny, I have booked the gig on a roll, like an extra roll, before I had moved to LA and I was like, I'm moving to LA, bye. So I moved to LA and then that's when I was trying to continue the modeling, but I ended up doing comedy. So, my life was a joke. I was like going through mad shit. I was like, why nobody respects my age? Why everybody thinks I'm 12? I'm not 12, bitches. My jokes are real life. They not fucking shickety dickety jokes. <laughs> I, yo, I was off the rails. I used to say wild stuff with a smile and people would be like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Now I'm a little, I'm still me, but I'm, I'm a little, I have a little more, like, I don't curse as much unless I have to, like, you know, I, I was definitely, I was looking at pictures too of me before and I was skinnier than I am now. I'm like, what looks so different? Because I look the same to me, but I'm like, oh, I was way skinnier. And now I'm like, like, I was it under like a hundred, maybe like one on one for a really long time. Now I'm like. 110 to 115 fluctuates some of these situations you wouldn't even like fathom what the fuck was that you see fathom when i use big words i do weird shit fathom so i came up with this title for my hour special it's called kim fowler my life is a punchline comment down below if you like that title comment down below what you think i should name my special it would be even more special if you helped me come up with it. Don't you think? It's never too late for you to join the Kimmy Colt. I am not like that guy, Jim Jones. I know the ingredients to Kool-Aid. It's sugar and water, not poison. I would never kill you guys. I would never. You can follow me on Instagram, at The Kimmy Project. On Snapchat, Club Kimmy. On Twitter, at The Kimmy Project. Alright, ciao babies. I love you more thinking this forever. Since then, I changed the title of my comedy special. It's Kim Fowler off the meat racket because my aunt called me off the meat racket before she had died she was I was like am I funny she was like yeah you off the meat racket I was like yeah that's it so that changed but yeah okay oh my god I was so crazy I used to say the craziest stuff that's why I deleted my own YouTube channel I used to say crazy stuff and not think about it and then like you look at it I'm like eh, that's not worth leaving there like, I got to be ready to die on the hill. I'm one of those people. Like, I'm not dying on a hill that. I'm not dying on a hill. I feel like if, if you're going to say something crazy, you got to be ready to die on that hill. But, yeah, thanks for watching this channel. Subscribe. YouTube sent me my stats yesterday. And it was like, okay, girl, keep doing it. Keep doing it. <laughs> so, thanks to everybody that subscribed. Um, yeah, cool video. I'm still her, just a little bit more mature, you know? And that's special. Don't worry, you're gonna know when it's gonna happen. Don't buy it, don't buy it. If you don't want it, you don't cut it. Don't buy it, don't buy it.